Man, I know Larry because we was teammates for four years at Stephen F. Austin. We met our freshman year, 1986. And um, this guy was coming in, he was very confident and brash. I was like, who is this guy doing all this talking? I was the associate athletic director here at SFA when he came to play and uh, played for the national championship that year. I met Larry um, coming into the fall of, of 86 when we were reporting for uh, our freshman year. Uh, he was my roommate that I was assigned to for dorm 20. We knew each other and uh, was fortunate enough to reconnect with him a couple of years ago when he came on campus. And he's just a remarkable human being. I met Larry about uh, 20 years ago. Uh, and it was at an SFA event, a uh, golf tournament. And I was very impressed with him because he had heard of me. We didn't play at the same time. And he had asked guys about me and he seeked me out. And so I had an opportunity to meet him uh, about 20 years ago. So he is an exceptional athlete. Um, he also uh, still holds a record for the number, the most uh, passes out of the backfield uh, for an NFL player. And he played for like 12, 13 years. And here it is now, fast forward, probably 15 years later after he retired, people, his name is still ringing as far as like Hall of Fame nominations and consideration. And when you, when you mentioned Larry Centers, mentioned pro football, the next thing you mentioned is SFA. And he was total team man. He may, he may score five touchdowns, but he'll always give credit to somebody else. Larry was probably the most competitive person uh, that I could remember back at that time, seeing him, how hard he would, he would go against a, uh, an opponent. It didn't matter who he was, we could be friends or not. Larry was, was playing to win, which makes a lot of sense why he made it so far. Larry made a difference. Larry was, was the type of dude that he was just going to outdo you. One of the Cardinals was playing Dallas Cowboys on a Monday night football game. And um, the DB was coming after Larry, and Larry just completely jumped over him. And this was such a nice uh, play and highlight that he even made the, uh, t uh, the movie Jerry Maguire. It's in, it's in that movie. So when you look at the distinguished alumni, it's about a, to me, it's about a couple of things. How do you distinguish yourself among your peers? And Larry certainly have done that uh, in the NFL. He's a great all-pro football player, but he's a better person. Larry kind of deserves this because I think he already had the, 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 the end in mind when he started. I think he, he was focused on what he wanted to do, so um, he accomplished that, and I think he needs to be rewarded for that. And uh, I am so happy and thrilled that he's coming in and, and getting this award because he deserves it more than anyone I know. And so that on a, on a huge platform like NFL, that's, that's a huge accomplishment. And that's a distinguishable service that I think he's, he's well, well deserving of that award. SFA, Larry's a great one. Don't forget that. He was one of the greatest ones to come through SFA. Don't forget him. When people ask you about Larry Center, just know he was a difference maker at SFA on the football field. But more importantly, he was a difference maker, period. That's the type of guy that he is. He just, whatever it meant to do right, to make people feel comfortable. He's a winner and still is. Larry Centers, please come forward and accept your award.